fresh out of the mailbox. I got a Tom Ford fragrance that got a crazy buzz ever since it came out, but I haven't gotten a good wear out of the joint, so I'm gonna be smelling it and wearing it for the first time and giving you my first impressions. Let's roll my motherfucking music so we can get into a Tom Ford newer release, a beignet for me. I don't know. Plus, good morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. So the fragrance by Tom Ford is, it looks like Eben Fumé, I guess. Eben Fumé. Love the clear bottle presentation, number one. The juice's color is lit. Now, I'm smelling it through the cap already, and I'm kind of excited about how it's going to come off. Let me start reading off the notes first before I put this on my skin so we can all share the experience together, but it won't be a first time experience because clearly a bunch of people have reviewed this joint, but it's not a review until I snort it. So it's incense, Palo Santo, a fan of Palo Santo, Black pepper, violet leaf, leather, labdanum, cade oil, don't know what it is, papyrus, rose, resins, ebony tree, and gayak wood, aka Udi vibes. So, this is something that a lot of people have been talking about. They just can't stop raving on it. Some people feel it's overly hyped. I can't comment on either or because I haven't gotten a sniff or a proper wear of the fragrance. So, I finally got my paws on it and let's see What's what? Is it worth the hype? Is it sexy as fuck? Is it a Tom Ford flop? We shall see. Let's go ahead and just apply it directly on skin. One, two, no test strip. Let's just go in, cause something so hype better be so fucking good. And it is. That's a peppery little whore. Very incensey too, oof. Can you say cold weather vibes, fam? That Gayak wood, that Udi wetness, and that resinous opening is crazy. It's listed at the base, but it's all up in the nostrils in the beginning. It's literally resinous, peppery Gayak wood right from the opening, right from jump, with a puff of like an incense cloud, like I just bought a three for five dollar pack on the corner store from the dude selling them. I was a big incense fan. There's also this nuttiness about the fragrance, but the incense just starts to smell a little bit churchish off of my skin. I feel like I'm ready to take me to church. I worship like I'm dawn in the shrine of your light. That's what I'm, I'm feeling like I'm walking into some holy situation about to get water spritzed on me by a dude wearing a robe, feeding me some unsalted bread. Yeah, it definitely has a holy churches type vibe atmosphere. When dudes start swinging that thing with the fucking incense smoke and shit, whatever it is, it smells like that. It smells like that, oud, resins, and a bunch of fucking just ground black pepper like I'm eating steak a pois. I like how the fragrance smells. This will definitely be something to be worn in the fall or winter, but on my skin, it's starting to overly smell like a church. It really gives me that church wood swamp ass sitting on a wood bench for X amount of hours. It's giving me that kind of vibe. So the more I'm smelling it, the more that it's becoming a really big smoky incense bomb, like prime, like number one, like this is all that it's about. It's a really smoky, burnt, ashy type of fragrance with a bit of a sex appeal. It's one of these fragrances that I like at opening. In mid, it starts to confuse me a little bit because it's leaning a little bit churchish. Then it's something that I can't seem to pull my nose away from. So it has kind of that factor on it. Like, I love it. I'm confused by it. About to read a Bible. Nah, maybe I don't love it. Let me smell it again. It really has that kind of factor. Like, it has that I'm trying to be born again situation about it. I don't dislike this fragrance, but it went from really, really liking that opening to slowly thinking that it resonates with a church and some hymns and shit, to now like, I need to re-smell it again because I'm kind of addicted. So now smelling it, it, it's going through some stuff on my skin. 
it's going from peppery, spicy, resin, oud, incense, heavy, wet, swamp ass on a wood bench while kneeling to damn, maybe I don't like this too much to wow, pepper just popped right back the fuck up. This is very confusing. This is a bipolar woman on my arm. There is something very, um, I don't know, very kind of like relax, chill, enjoy the smoke, really sit in it. It feels like I'm about to do ayahuasca in the middle of Peru somewhere. Like it, it just wants to put me in this kind of state of mind where it's confusing me and I'm trying to find my real self, but I can't discover it because this fragrance is here because it's peppery, it's oud, it's resin. It's a confusing fucking piece on my arm, but it smells good. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a toxic woman. It's a toxic chick. She looks beautiful. She's popping in these streets. You've been with her for a couple of months. She starts spazzing out, fucking doing the whole hand clapping shit. You're like, God damn, this, this chick is bugging the fuck out, but I can't leave her. her. Ass is too good. She could cook her ass off. Her walk is mean. Shorty's right or die, but she's crazy too. She want to slap everybody. On a scale of one to 10, I'm going to give Ebony, 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 Fume, Fume, 7.5. I'm gonna give it a 7.5. I don't absolutely love Drop Dead Gorgeous, like, but it's very captivating. It intrigues me. It makes me think. I keep smelling it over and over again because I can't get enough of it. So there's gotta be something intoxicating here that will have that same reaction to other people. Maybe I do love it. Maybe I'm just confused. Maybe I just don't know about life. Is it a ball sprayer though? If you make me think this much, it's a ball sprayer. Oh, oh man, wow, that incense pepper right now, holy shit, I think I like it, I think I like it, I like a toxic fucking chick, that's what it is, bro, fuck, I'm a mess, I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart, what do you think of this Tom Ford fragrance, is it worth the buy, is it overly hype, or are you going through the confusing emotions and recognizing that you just reflected on the fact that you, that you like toxic people in your life? I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is. Biggest in the game. Smooches. Fly gun holder, money folder, Mona roller, star tag. When it's time to call back oh. for the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib, hey. it's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you would. <laughs>